Hi guys, it's me Lewis, and today I'm here to do a rant video on a particular company slash video game, Star Wars Battlefront 2 and Electronic Arts. Also, oh, well, EA for short, I would say at least. Now, EA, Electronic Arts, oh boy, you motherfuckers have gotten yourself in some hot water over the last few days, haven't you, mate? Right, to those, to those who don't know, don't know the recent story of what happened, the new Star Wars Battlefront 2 game came out. A lot of people were pretty excited, except for me, which I'll get which I'll get to later on in the video. A lot of people were pretty hyped up for it, until they fucking realized that there's nothing but a bunch of non-stop microtransactions and loot boxes, which pissed a lot of people the fuck off. And I don't fucking blame them. And the one thing the one thing I feel sorry for is is the fucking is the fucking uh, social media admin who's been fucking forced by EA th themselves to go on fucking Reddit and defend this shit. That's who I feel fucking sorry for. The poor fucking bastard who decided... Who, well, not side, but well, pretty much forced, because you know, obviously EA is known for being the most fucking evil corporation of all time. Um... Has pretty much has pretty much has pretty much been forced to go on Reddit and just fucking defend this shit. And that right there pisses me the fuck off because he was trying so hard on 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 his fucking keyboard saying, Oh don't oh don't worry guys, we're gonna patch this shit, even though even though you guys hate microtransactions and you know, EA's trying to milk you dry, you know, shit like that and blah blah blah. And his and his his most his most amazing thing from the gaming community, okay? Never piss them off, including me, of course. Okay, obviously, obviously, I love video games, and I don't, I don't, want, I don't want them to be a complete failure. But here's what I found amazing from the gaming community that was on Reddit. Um, they, honest, honest God, that one foot, that social media admin from from EA, um, who went on Reddit defend, defending the fucking game, having having such piss poor contents. Um. Having nothing but having nothing but microtransactions and loot boxes, which by which, which, which by the way, microtransactions and loot boxes are the biggest are the biggest fucking cancer in video game history. Tr trust me, it really fucking is. And um, and and guess what? Right, that 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 uh, that that that, that little defense message that he put out on Reddit received six. Uh, well, I, I think I believe over six thousand fucking dislikes, which is which but which. which which, by the way, is one of the most disliked fucking fucking um fucking um messages on Reddit in history. In Reddit history. Now, to those who don't know who Electronics Arts is, they're they're famous they're famously known for, for working on Skate, um, Dante's and well, publishing and developing um, you know, Skate, Dante's Inferno, uh, and of course The Sims, which is obviously a well-known fucking game, which everyone knows what that game is. Um now, EA used to be a fantastic company back in the day, and I mean fantastic company. But around 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 2011, that's when that's when shit just went downhill for the company because they they just they decided to 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 like turn around and fuck up their entire strategies for the, for their business. And what and what was that you may ask? Simple, making all their games online only. Their servers are complete, absolute, are absolute fucking bollocks. Which you have to be on, which which, which means you have to be connected to the internet twenty four fucking seven. Um, a lot, a lot of their companies, well, a lot, of the, a lot of the development studios that they owned were shut down because of the fact that they were oh they were too busy working on single player single player features. Oh no, 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 no. We have to focus on online multiplayer. We can't go anywhere near single player because that's bad for business. Fuck off, EA. Because here's the thing, though. Speaking of features, the piss poor excuse that EA had for Star Wars Battlefront 2, right, was basically, oh, oh, th these microtransactions and loot boxes aren't, 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 aren't milking you dry. They are features. Really, EA? Because from what I remember, for the past couple of years, you've been doing this for you've been doing this type of shit for 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 a very very long time, and this is why nobody fucking trusts you. This is why nobody fucking likes you. It's because you are fucking greedy, and people have called you out on it over and over and over again. And here's a little fun fact though: 
a former Bioware developer um, came out and admitted, and I mean, he fucking admitted that EA does not give a shit about you or all the fucking games that, that they create. All they, all they want is your fucking cash. And, and people like me have been saying this shit for years, that EA does not fucking care anymore. Because... For some, for some fucking reason, their minds just just went, just went, pfft, I mean, just full, pfft, to just pure fucking money, money laundering, um, bullcrap strategies for, for their company. And that right there just annoys the fuck out of me. Because, of course, EA is not the only one who does this. Obviously, obviously there's, there's several other companies out there like Activision, um, Capcom, Ubisoft, Konami. They all do the exact same fucking thing because a lot... Because when they, once they shove microtransactions in your fucking face, that's when shit just pisses you the fuck off. It just it, it microtransactions have been a huge fucking turn off for games that they have to fucking pay for. Now, microtransactions can be a good thing and a bad thing, but when it's a good thing, the get if it's if it's if it's a good thing about about a game being a free to play, but it's going to require microtransactions, which obviously yeah, the company needs to make money somehow. Then yeah, that, that makes perfect sense. Go ahead, be my guest. Go go ahead and do it. But these co but here's the thing: though. EA decided decided decide to take it a step further, where you have to pay like up to, up to like fifty or sixty fucking pounds, or, or well slash dollars slash euros, for a fucking game where you have to pay like up 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 to, up to like thirty dollars extra for for like for like the most expensive DLC, which which EA does by the way. I'm not joking you because. I had, I'm not joking you, I fucking had Star Wars Battlefront 1 on the Xbox One, not, 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 not the original Star Wars Battlefront 1, because that, that one was fucking amazing, I'm talking about the one that, that was, that was rebooted for, for the Xbox, for the Xbox One and PS4 and PC, that, honest, honest God, that game was a complete waste of my fucking money ever, I spent 50 fucking quid on that, on that fucking game, right, and I, and I actually noticed something, there was hardly any fucking content in the game. All you all you had was just was just was just like different versions of different of like of different like play of, of different playable characters. Um, what what is, what is it? One one map for each mo one map. Well, five maps for each fucking mode. I would say at least. I was just I was just like, what the fuck is this? Like, what the absolute fuck is this bullshit? And. And here's and here's one thing that really that really fuck that really fucking annoyed me annoyed me but didn't surprise me at all whatsoever is that each fucking DLC pack right because DLCs usually cost up to up to up to, up to around like like five five to ten dollars right depends depends how much content is, yeah, it depends how much content is going to be in that DLC right the one thing that really pissed me the fuck off is EA was charging people forty four fucking pounds for each fucking DLC. I'm not kidding you. Forty-four pounds slash dollars slash euros each, and that goes to fucking show you that EA has crossed the line with Star Wars Battlefront Two. They have fucked that game over so hard in the ass. And in fact, in fact, there was this one video that I remember seeing the other day where, where. Star Wars Battlefront 2 is a complete fucking mess because it's just it's not not only not only is it not only is it is it a money hungry um a, a money hungry monster but it's also a glitchy fucking bastard no joke I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm, I'm, if I can find that that video of all the bugs and glitches that, that are involved in that fucking game I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the link in the description down down below so you guys can go check it out but. Here's the thing, though. Here's here's what here's what doesn't surprise me at all. EA has won two awards for being the worst company in America twice, and I wouldn't be fucking surprised if they won it if they won it um this year or the year after, or the year or the year after that or the year after that or the year after that and and, and so on. I would not be fucking surprised because EA has been has been doing this greedy shit for years. And the one thing that made me laugh though is that if on, on Twitter, right, they did like like this this so called apology video where where they basically said, oh oh get oh oh guys, we are so sorry, we heard your feedback, bullshit fu bullshit EA, you're not fucking sorry. This is fucking damage. This is basically fucking damage control because you fucking knew damn well that all you were getting was nothing but tons of fucking backlash for the fucking greedy shit that you would that you've been doing for fucking years, by the way, which. Which, by the way, you've been doing you've been doing this on fucking on fucking uh, Need for Speed. You've been doing this on fucking um, what is it? Um, 
Command and Conquer. You've been doing this on, on multiple fucking games for, for fucking years now. And every time you buy out a company that refuses to that refuses to be creative, refuses to, to be to be to be understandable about what the consumer wants, you you decide to go ahead and shut fucking shut them down, which makes tons of which makes tons of fucking sense why you shut down Visual Studios. It makes fucking sense. So guess what? No more fucking Dead Space and no more fucking Dante's Inferno because those games were based on si single single player um, single player features. Sure, sure, yeah, sure, yeah. Dead Space Two and I, th I think also Dead Space Three did ha did have did have online multiplayer did have, did have online multiplayer features, but they weren't really the main focus, and that's what pissed off EA. That's why that's why they shut them down. And of course, there was supposed to be a single player. Star Wars game that's supposed to come out, and EA said, "Oh no 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 no, we can't have that." Bam, there you go. Fuck off. Get out of our sight. Your company's been, your company has been shut down because we own your asses. Ha 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 ha. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. That's literally how EA fucking works now. So if you're a fucking, so if you're a fucking development studio, regardless whether you're mainstream or independent, and EA says, "Oh oh hey oh hey guys, we're we're an in, we're, the, we're the innocent company. EA, we like to buy you out." Uh, okay. And you just, and you give them and you'll give it and those companies give them give them their fucking paycheck, and well yeah he gives them their fucking paycheck and, and fully buys them out by signing a few contracts there and there, and there you go, EA fucks them over. They tell them what to do. They say oh 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 get oh ch change this change this oh 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 it's gonna have online multiplayer oh we've gotta have micro transactions we've, we've gotta have micro transactions there oh DLC is gonna have to be forty four fucking dollars each oh we can't have that we can't have single player no get rid of that shit. This right here is basically pure fucking damage control to that, to that stupid bullshit apology from what EA did. Because they, like, like, like what that former Bioware developer said, EA does not give a shit about you. They don't give a shit about anyone anymore. Because they fucking know they have lost the touch of their own consumers because they're too obsessed with greed. Why why do you why do you why do you think 50 50 fucking YouTubers who have who have the fucking sponsored by EA bullshit at the beginning of the fucking video when they, when they say, "Oh hey guys, I'm 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 something something gaming, you know. I've been sponsored by EA which could which could they've been they've been paying me thousands thousands of dollars to play this shitty game which I don't even want to fucking play anyway. They they sent me a free copy of this fucking game which I'm never going to fucking finish playing because I'm only after the goddamn money because EA want, wants to advertise it to to, to, cons to consumers on social media and shit like that. But here's and here's and here's my main point of, of this entire video, right? What I've recently found out over the past two years is that the retro the retro gaming community sorry <clears throat> the retro gaming community has increased over the past year, and the reason why it has nothing, it, it, it's it, it's not it's not just it's not just has, has to do with the fact that oh oh cl classic class, classic games are, are, so, are so much are so much of a challenge you know that, that that's what that, that's that's what makes it fun right because that that's what that's what people are going back to going back to playing old retro games from way way back from like the Intellivision Atari Sega Nintendo um, the classic Xbox uh, the Xbox days like the Xbox. Like the original Xbox and the and the early three sixty and the early three sixty days, and 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 obviously the early PlayStation one and two days and and, and a little bit of PlayStation three there and a little bit of PlayStation three there as well, but a lot of people are going back playing retro games because the reason why they are sick to death of this fucking um pay pay behind a pay pay behind a wall bullshit. Literally, like I said, I don't mind DLC as long as the game is fully finished. I don't mind microtransactions unless the game is free to play. I'm fine with that. But when it comes to companies like EA, Activision, Ubisoft, and and several other companies as well, they don't fucking care anymore. Some somehow somehow they've 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 lo they've lost themselves in the money that 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 they're, that they're drowned in. Like they they've they've easily became fully manipulated into that money, and that right and that right there, really 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 fucking pisses me off because these are companies that we used to look up to people the companies that we used to fucking enjoy, and years ago these companies used to have a lot of fucking fun of what they used to make and look at them now, look at EA. EA has, has literally has around twenty eleven EA s starts to become. A greedy fucking corporation because they got far too fucking cocky for their money, 
And here's and here's the good thing about this though. Star Wars Battlefront 2 has confirmed to be one of the lowest sales in video in in, in 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 Star Wars history. And I mean the lowest fucking sales of video games. And that's a good thing. The reason why is because these companies need to wake the fuck up and understand that we do not want microtransactions or any f or expensive DLC or or less fucking content in a game, okay? We want a game that has ton. If a game is going to be around up, 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 up to around up to around thirty to sixty fucking dollars, make sure the game has a fuckload of content, okay? If it doesn't, cut the price down to twenty or fifteen fucking dollars. That right there will 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 make will make people say, oh, okay, so it's twenty dollars, okay, so I didn't I didn't I didn't did really spend that much, so I'm fine, I'm good, I'm 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 all dandy. So there you go. But if you're gonna if you're gonna add DLC, make sure again, make sure make sure your game make sure your game has a fuckload of content. And once it does, happy days to you. You're perfectly fine. But but yeah, EA, Jesus Christ, I and I, it's here's, here's what I'm waiting for. Right? I'm, I am literally waiting for EA to fucking kill themselves. Not 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 physically. I mean business wise. I literally mean. Shoot yourselves in the fucking foot, and then you'll realize how much of a dick you really are. How much you don't give a flying fuck about your own fucking consumers. You don't give a fuck about what games you fucking create. You don't care about your own fucking development studios because all you want, all, you, all you're using them as you're all you're using them as fucking slaves for your online multiplayer gr greedy tactics. That's all you fucking care about, and you're not fucking sorry, EA. No one fucking believes you because you're full of shit. Because not only have you pissed off actual fucking gamers, you've pissed off hardcore Star Wars fans as well. Because they do not want this. And you and you won't understand because you're too obsessed with greed. And that's all I have to say about them. Honestly. EA can go fuck themselves. Because honestly, honest God, I had, I had one last chance with them with, start, with, with the reboot of Star Wars Battlefront 1. Complete waste of my fucking complete waste of my fucking time and money. Thanks a lot, thanks a lot, EA. Go fuck yourselves and eat a fucking dick. So yeah, guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and uh, tell me what are your tell me, tell me what are your what are your thoughts on on EA and Star Wars Battlefront Two. Okay, guys, peace out.